It has the potential to deliver quite a lot, but I'm not too sure that the two adversaries who will sit down uh, tomorrow morning North Korea time actually are going to achieve very much in uh, less than the one day they plan to spend together. Uh, so they, they're looking for a symbolic victory to come out of this and perhaps move to more substantive issues later? I, I think that's what it has to be. I mean, Trump is going in there saying that he's going to bring peace to the Korean uh, peninsula and to denuclearize denucle North Korea. Uh, is he going to achieve that tomorrow? Absolutely not. I mean, we're going to have a handshake and a photo opportunity. Uh, he's going to size Kim up in a minute, so he says, and then they're going to have lunch. Uh, the reality is that if it is the start of dialogue that leads to some substantive talks between people from State Departments and draws in South Korea, perhaps draws in China, even Russia, even Japan, then he will have achieved something. Uh, North Korea and South Korea technically still at war. Do you think they'll at least agree to sign an armistice soon? Well, the armistice was signed. The armistice was signed back in 1953. Uh, what Trump is trying to do is to actually end the war. The war's not going to end tomorrow. Uh, it might be the start of talks that leads to an official ending. Uh, if that is the case, though, that probably means that more than 40,000 US troops will have to leave South Korea. And certainly at the moment, the South Koreans show very little sign of wanting that to happen. Uh, is it likely uh, that Trump will have to scale back his expectations because there's no way that, uh, that uh, Kim Jong-un would give up his nuclear arsenal having seen the fate of others who have? Well, absolutely. I mean, John Bolton is supposed to be in talks tomorrow, and I absolutely hope he doesn't open his mouth about any kind of Libyan solution uh, <laughs> because North Korea is not going to go along that path at all. Uh, it's probably best, actually, if Bolton just keeps quiet in the corner somewhere. Um, the North Koreans, they have their nuclear weapons to keep the Kim family in power. We're in the age of strong autocratic regimes, and tomorrow you could say that we've got two strong autocrats sitting down together. Uh, Trump mm. has potentially got, to got a lot to lose and quite a lot to compromise. Kim is the one who is probably calling the shots at the moment.